swerve on. Miss your throat tonight, take some home. That's when I saw strut right past me. That's when I knew I couldn't let her pass me. Head to toe, she was something like a diva. Couple shots of Patron, now I'm trying to take her home. What you trying to do? Man, I sub to you. And is you reading my mind? Yeah, I'm with it too. We in an AA cruising down. Hey, world, it's your boy Chef Dixie. Hey, what's happening, world? It's your friendly neighborhood chef, Chef Dix, and I'm back at you again with another episode of Chopping It Up with Chef Dix. But right now, we coming live from the kitchen. I got an event later today, a little drop off I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna whip together my um, appetizer platter for the um, Allen family. Shout out to the Edmund Allen family. You know how I be. But um, I'm gonna whip my um, appetizer platter sampler together, you know, deliver it, drop it off, make it do what it do. But you know, we in the kitchen, live and direct, world's first rapping chef, Chef Dix. I'm here now. Hey world, it's your boy Chef Dix. Now I told you today I'm doing my appetizer platter. And what my appetizer platter consists of is seven items. It's for a party up to 40 people. You know, when you got a small little gathering, but you wanna have some good food, you know, at a decent cost. My appetizer platter consists of seven items. It consists of, um, Wings, 20 pounds of wings come in two flavors. You got my sweet chili meatballs, you get about 10 pounds of those. You have a cheese and cracker tray. You have my chicken buffalo dip with chips. You have my spinach artichoke dip with crackers. You have, uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Um, 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 fresh fruit tray. Yeah, your fresh fruit tray. And there's one other item that I'm missing. Oh, it also comes with a cookie tray. So that's your seven items right there. Like I say, a little mix of um, meat, cheese, vegetables, fruit, cookies, sweets. You gotta have the sweets up in there. You see the cheeks. You see me. You gotta have the sweets up in there. Although, you know, I would like to give a shout out to myself because um, about two years ago, I started on a weight loss journey. And on Facebook, you know how the pictures pop back up in your timeline? Your boy is definitely thinner. I've definitely kept it off. I put a couple little pounds on as of late. First six months of this year, I ain't really been too good on the working out tip, but I'm still there. I'm still hitting the gym up. I built my gym, still in the pit, you know, one, two days a week. I need to get back up to four days a week, but that's coming. Me and Shorty go get back on it, but you know, back to the food. I had to hop right back into the uh, nutrition aspect real quick, but we go get back to the food though. Um, about to start whipping it up. You know what we do? It's your boy, man. Top it up with Chef Dix. Deuces. First thing we go do, ladies and gentlemen, is we go get all our equipment and everything set up. Um, you know, I got meats on this men menu, so I'm gonna pull them out so they can get thawed. So as I'm whipping together the buffalo dip and uh, cutting the fruit and whipping together the uh, spinach artichoke dip. All this can get ready. We'll spray these pans, a little non-stick. Got my bowl for my spinach artichoke dip. Got my pot for my buffalo dip. Just sprayed my pans for my chicken. I got my meatball sitting in the pan. You about to get this popping, ladies and gentlemen. Shop another with Chef Dix with your boy Chef Dix. Out fun, sitting back. I'm sitting here whipping up the uh, spinach artichoke dip. As you can see right there, that's that good stuff right there. Um, my spinach artichoke dip, you know, starts with the basics. You got sour cream, you got mayo, you got artichokes, and you got spinach. But as far as my seasoning selection, I use probably about eight different seasonings. Um, celery salt, onion powder, garlic powder, a little chicken rotisserie, ranch of course, pepper. Uh, depending on how I'm feeling that day, I might sprinkle a little Cajun in it or chicken Montreal. You know, like I say, just depending on how I'm feeling right there. You know, but we got it popping. We got it whipping. We got it going. All right, guys, we back. Now we about to move on to that Jay's Famous Buffalo Dip. If y'all had some of that Jay's Famous Buffalo Dip, you know it's fire. Second to none. Funny story real quick. 
Um, it's been close to a decade now when I first got turned on the uh, chicken buffalo dip. Guy I used to work with Cam, shout out Cam Hover, you know, UPMC McGee, you know how we used to do He used to make up a little buffalo dip. That shit was weak though, y'all. That shit was weak. So, me being a man I am, you know, set back and I perfected my recipe. It took me about six years to perfect it, you know, and teach my wife it where she can just whip it up too. Got four cheeses. You got um, cream cheese, American cheese. Got some um, Kobe Jack. I'm gonna go with some cheddar, man. Those are the four cheeses. Hot sauce, um, Tabasco sauce. I can't tell you what seasons I put in there because that's that special dicks mix. If I tell you the special dicks mix, then you go have the recipe. Then you don't need to come buy it off me. But if you do need to come buy it off me. I'll let your boy. <laughs> Alright, let's get it popping, y'all. As y'all can see, I'm about to get it popping with this buffalo dip. On to the next. We back. It's your boy Chef Dix. Got that? Let me get a little closer. Let me get a little closer. See that right there? That's that Jay's famous buffalo dip. We got it on the oven right here. We're gonna put it on a low simmer because this is really just cheese, chicken, and flavor. Um I decided to go with a canned chicken nowadays. When I first started off, I would bake the chicken, chop it up, blah, blah, blah. But I actually like the liquid from the canned chicken with my buffalo dip makes the consistency better. So, hey, like I said, we got cheese, chicken, and flavor. So, like I said, we want to keep that on a low simmer. So, we just melting it, basically. You know, getting that whip gang right. Getting that whip gang right. It's your boy. Oh, yes. We have Jay's Famous Buffalo Dip. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, Chef Dix. See, I'm looking a little sweaty. I'm actually really in the kitchen. Whether it be the full-time job or the catering business, I'm in the kitchen. As you can see, we got Jay's Famous Buffalo Dip. Good consistency. It's not burnt. I'm about to pan this up. Then I'm about to start slicing this fruit up. After that, ladies and gentlemen, all I got is these wings and meatballs to do. Spinach dip is done. Buffalo dip is done. Cheese and cracker tray is done. Cookie tray is done. Man, we rocking and rolling. It's your boy. Hey guys, it was great chilling with y'all today. As y'all can see, I'm on my last bag. You see the counter? See the kitchen? It's clean. That means I'm ready to go. It's 10 to 4. Yeah, that means I'm 10 minutes ahead of time. But once again, I would like to thank y'all for tuning in today. Like I said, we got the appetizer platter. Y'all want to see what that looks like? Here it comes now. Hey, what's up, Pittsburgh? It's your boy, Chef Dick. <laughs> like you ain't no gangster chef. Yeah. yeah. And I'm back up on the block. Block. Chef up in the building. Talk to the Chef Dick. Coming soon.